In tonight's current, the life of a freegan. What are freegans, you say? Well, for starters, they're folks who dig through the trash looking for food. So now you're probably thinking, what are they, poor, right? No, they're not hungry. They're not poor. Some, in fact, make a very good living. So why are they spending their nights rummaging through other people's garbage? Here's CNN's Adora Doji. Madeline Nelson lives the good life in New York City. She's an executive at a Fortune 500 company, earning enough to shop at the best stores, eat at the best restaurants. But in her world, grocery shopping means heading out at night without coupons or a wallet. All right, let's get to it. Sometimes when the stores are closed. She's freegan. She and others like her are disgusted by food they see wasted. So instead of buying their food, they do something many people would find shocking. They right dig for food out, out of the garbage. Breads, bagels. Not exactly the people you'd expect to find right. rummaging through mounds of trash outside grocery stores. Tonight, the executive is joined by a high school teacher, some college students, and the founder of Freegan.info. And you don't have any compunction of just pulling that out. No, I mean, it's they throw all separate than the rest of the trash. This is just a bag, literally a bread, that was made today. How do you know that was made today? Um, because they advertise that they don't sell the old bread. It smells pretty fresh. Yeah. Surprisingly, on this mild summer night, the garbage doesn't stink, but it's still garbage. Some of it seemingly untouched. Tomatoes, croutons, and berries. Hundreds of dollars of food. I think more stuff is getting thrown out now than ever before. Anything with the tiniest, tiniest bit of an imperfection, out it goes into the trash. Isn't there an ick factor, you guys, at least the first time you did this? You said, oh, it's garbage, it's stinky. And that's why we're trained in the society is that garbage is garbage and once you throw it away, you know, you can't touch it, it's dirty, but I mean, look at all this, this looks perfectly good. That keeps them coming once or twice a week, always striking just as the trash goes out. Tonight they found plenty, packing their bags with food that will last days. That first night I was so inspired, I was so inspired by the fact that you can basically expose this system of, of waste. She, like all Freegans, is committed to helping reduce that waste, not contributing to it. They buy secondhand clothes, dumpster dive for furniture, sometimes finding computers, books, magazines, toiletries, always finding something. It's disgraceful, frankly. Studies estimate stores throw away 55 billion pounds of food a year, that Americans waste $43 billion worth a year. For each American family, that's $600 a year down the drain. Freegans say their movement is global, though there are no hard numbers. On any given day, Freegan.info founder Adam Weissman says they get 70,000 hits. There are books, videos, and hundreds of websites on the do's and don'ts of dumpster diving, where to shop, when the garbage goes out, how to prepare food safely. Remember, they're not street people down on their luck. They're on a mission. Wow, look at the cookies. A whole can of cheese Yeah, wings. isn't that fabulous? They are cold. Yeah. Uh, do you think that came out of the refrigerator, though? Oh, definitely. Probably just came out just 10 minutes ago. Ooh, peppers. There's a fun aspect to it of you're going through and you're, it's almost like a treasure hunt. How long have you been doing this? About 10 years. About 10 years. And you've never gotten sick one time. It's just common sense. I mean, if you, if with any food, if you look at it. Nutritionist Dr. Ruth Kava says that's true. All food should pass the look and smell test. And she says even though dumpster diving sounds gross, it's not necessarily harmful. But she warns people should avoid meat and dairy products that spoil fast in summer heat. The chances are it's more likely to be contaminated or dirty if it's picked up in a dumpster, unless it's in its original wrapping and it hasn't been it hasn't been broken. Freegans say they're careful, though sometimes they have trouble convincing others because lots of people stare. Some take the food, others don't. Want the cookies? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's all clean and wrapped. Clean and wrapped. Food and trash. Clean and wrapped. People don't throw out food like that. They do every day.
I feel really good about what I'm doing. I know that there's at least some food that's not going to end up in a landfill. Absolutely. I know that we're educating people. I know that we're getting getting food onto our own tables, sometimes onto other people's tables. They all give away food to others. But Freegan Alexis Cole takes it further, using what she and her husband find to bolster their church's pantry to feed the congregation. We're going to have a, a, a cream of celery soup uh, flavored with dill and some of that parsley. We're going to make it creamy with the potatoes. Uh, we're going to have stuffed peppers. We're going to have uh, we're going to have corn on the top. That's menu planning the Freegan way on the streets of New York City. She makes that dinner for 12 a day later. The food looking nothing like it did on the street. <laughs> They ate well and felt good, knowing this week they'd done their part to turn so-called garbage into golden meals. Some freegans save up to $600 a month on food. Many of them donate the money that they save to other causes, like tonight. We have some samplings, courtesy of our friend Madeline Nelson. This was the result of their dumpster diving last night. Take a look. Remarkable. Did you Pretty try good. any? Did no, you, no, did I was going to actually ask you, Rick. If you, in fact, I brought you a napkin. I'll, I'll take a little grape. There you go. And I'll eat it. Because if it's packaged, there could be possibly, that, well, I would bet there's nothing wrong with it. I think they're pretty good at it. I mean, they follow very specific rules. I mean, they have a medical advisor who tells them about the kind of food that they should be looking for in the right. summertime. Obviously, meat with the heat, you know, could uh, create some sort of cross-contamination on the other it's, food, the, the, the bread, what, how they should prepare. Yeah, it seems that way. And as you look at it, it looks very fresh. And you know what? It does. We have some bagels, too. It tastes good, too. We'll get to those later.